You know what that heartbeat means? It's time to talk food. It's day 24 of the nationwide lockdown, as we've been speaking about all morning. And if you've already used up all of your recipes and all of your fresh food ideas, we have something new for you. ENCA and Flora are showcasing a number of foodies. They'll be sharing their eating tips, ideas and recipes that will come in handy during this lockdown. Now today, Linda Engelbrecht is the, uh, joins us. She's the founder of The Honest Grazer. Linda, thank you so much for joining us. And I, I thought when I saw the name of your, your, your company today, I thought that's perfect. Because I do feel so many of us have been doing just that over the last few weeks. We've been grazing a lot. How has this lockdown been treating you from a food perspective? <laughs> yes, I couldn't agree more. Lots of grazing. Although I do think um, it can be difficult to maintain a balance, especially being at home more often. But honestly, I've just been trying to implement a routine to the best of my ability. I find it really just helps give, give structure to my day. I'm one of the fortunate people. I'm still working from home, so it makes it a little bit easier. Um, but yeah, it it's really can be difficult to find that balance. I think just keep healthy snacks at hand. I'm glad that people are spending more time in the kitchen so it's easy to make those um, treats and snacks healthy. And now tell us about the Honest Grazer. What kind of food is at the heart of what you do? Uh, so I follow a plant-based flexitarian lifestyle. So that basically means that I try to make 90% of my diet plant-based. So that doesn't include any animal byproducts or any animal meat or protein. Um, but then I do adopt a flexitarian mentality when I am in social situations just because I'm a foodie at heart and I want to be able to experience the joy of food. And if Oma's made me pancakes, I want to be able to eat them, you know. Um, so I am a little bit lenient and flexible in that sense. But yes, so mostly plant-based foods, whole grain foods, whole um, plant foods. So that's mostly fruits and vegetables and legumes and healthy fats and nuts and seeds and plants. Proteins. Now, we've really seen a rise in uh, South Africans adopting the, uh, if not the plant-based diet, at least a plant-eating, uh, uh, plant leaning uh, a diet. And that must be very encouraging for you in the space that you operate in. Uh, during lockdown, I, I suppose you would encourage people to make sure that they are somehow getting enough greens, especially because we're a little bit more sedentary during this time. Yes, most definitely. I think just from a um, immunity boosting perspective, just from a health perspective, um, it is so much better to try and incorporate the fruit, fresh fruit and veg. Um, although it can be difficult to have access to that all the time. So what I would suggest is when you do buy your fresh fruit and vegetables, try and make um, try meal plan a little bit, make a bulk batch of veggies or soup or stews, and then keep it in your freezer. That also opens up your time if you have a family and you're struggling to manage your day then you know dinner sorted is healthy you've got everything that you need the same thing with fruit just uh, don't be afraid to cut them up put them in the freezer and use them for smoothies or cook them up and then add them to your breakfast now it is sunday and normally south africans would be preparing today for a big sunday roast obviously with whatever <laughs> protein they prefer if that's what their household uh, is able to do um, i always find however that it's difficult to come up with new ideas for those sides to make those vegetables more interesting instead of just making um, uh, broccoli and cauliflower and putting a cheese sauce over it if you could just give us perhaps two one or two ideas for those thinking of doing something different with their veggies today so I think what I actually do is I try and think of my veggie as my main event because then I get a bit more excited about sprucing it up rather than just putting some salt and leaving it to boil or <laughs> roast in the oven. So try and think about, okay, I've got a button. I'm going to make this a main event. I'm going to halve it stuff it with something delicious, um, baste it with something. So treat it the same way with the same care and um, excitement that you would for your protein. And then maybe that will um, ignite a little bit more inspiration. But otherwise, I think just incorporating some kind of healthy fat already elevates the satiation of any kind of vegetable. So just adding a little bit of oil or some healthy um, margarine or anything like that, it's going to just make all the flavors come out and it's going to taste, make those veggies taste a lot nicer. That's a great idea for butternut. I've got a couple staring at me in the kitchen, so <laughs> thank you for that. Linda Engelbrecht is the founder of Honest Grazer, and you can watch the full Flora virtual show that Linda will be the star of today at 11 a.m. on enca.com.